muriatic acid is a solution that is only 31% hydrochloric acid. I've accidentally spilled it on myself many times. And as you can see, I still have all my fingers, everything's intact, I'm okay. You do want to be careful while handling muriatic acid. It's not a joke to play with, it's not something you should just mess around with, but it's not as scary as it sounds. And if you're careful and you do things right, you'll be just fine. There are two different applications for muriatic acid in your pool. The first is for lowering pH. The other is to lower alkalinity. Lowering your alkalinity requires way more acid than lowering your pH. You probably use, you know, in between two to six cups of acid to lower your pH. But if your alkalinity is too high, you use in between one and three gallons at a time to lower the alkalinity. So there's two different ways that you add it. Let's start with the pH as this is the most common use for muriatic acid. You're going to need a couple things. Definitely get a 16 ounce glass Pyrex measuring cup and some rubber gloves to protect your hands from acid in case you do spill some. Let's say you need to add three cups of acid to your pool to lower your pH. You're going to want to measure it out eight ounces at a time. So get an eight ounce cup of acid measured out, take it to the pool, look on the perimeter and find a return. You're going to want to pour that cup of acid by that return. Repeat that process until you've added all three cups of muriatic acid. This way, by adding it in the area where the return is, it'll mix in better and more quickly. Now, if your alkalinity is too high and you need to add muriatic acid, you're going to want to use a five gallon bucket to pre-dilute it. Let's say you need to add two gallons of acid to your pool to dilute the alkalinity. First thing you're going to want to do is get a clean five gallon bucket that hasn't been used for anything else except for the muriatic acid. Fill the bucket up with about four gallons of water and then add the gallon of acid. Let it set for about a minute so it can mix in and then take that and simply pour it around the perimeter of the pool. Repeat that process until you've added all the acid that you need to add. It's better to pre-dilute high levels of acid. The reason is, is because acid is heavier than water. So if you just go to your pool and add in a gallon of acid, that acid is going to fall to the bottom and it can create modeling on your plaster and pitting on your plaster. So recap, to do it with your pH, measure it eight ounces at a time, pour that around the perimeter of your pool near returns. If you need to lower it with alkalinity, pre-dilute the acid in a five gallon bucket by filling that bucket with four gallons of water, one gallon of acid. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for choosing riverbendpoolsupply.com for all your pool needs.